ladies and gentlemen, welcome over here to the Daska Red Bull Knockout Series Season 4 2016. We're here on Ziggo Sport. We are here for race number two of the season with 38 cars left. We had had a big crash in race number one, which had cars flying through the air, flipping over and all that kind of stuff, like we're always used to in this series. And now we have 38 cars left with John Arndt in the number two, Chris Dodd in the number three, Logan Claudel in the number four, and Zachary Fitzwater in the number 59 out of the series. On the pole, we have the O2 or the double zero car of Anna Gregg. There she is, and we'll take you through the field like the way we always will do for now the rest of the season. So 38 cars are left. Pretty curious what will happen in this race. Of course, the there are fewer cars, but there the drafting distance has also been lowered, so still the chance on a crash is around let's say 50%. Um, we just seen a couple of incident-free um, races before in the series, so just to prepare you that there are probably gonna be one or two caution or crash-free uh, races, and of course the drivers have to be prepared for that. But well. We'll see what will just happen in this race. It's weird. Scroll through the field so you can see where you are starting. A, lot of, a couple of drivers starting in the back over here. Nick Caps, Grace Necker. Nick Caps once again in the back. And there are Joe Nesto and Mitch Brett. So that's the field. That's the lineup. And we're getting this race started. And this is how you can do an introduction as well. <laughs> and of course, yesterday it was a little bit long. I'm getting irritated by this thing. Okay. Um, but that is of course one time as I had announced. Race number two, three laps around this racetrack. Um, haven't heard anything from people willing to or want to change to a different paint scheme. Uh, of course I will extend it with one more day because well, um, be, you know, uh, it, the race was uploaded last night around let's say 10 hours ago or something I don't know <laughs> 10 hours ago so I can imagine that not everybody has watched the race which of course most logical thing uh, race number two and race number three I will do today will be of course might not be uploaded today so for race number four the changes if you want to switch to a different base game will be made but not after that so ladies and gentlemen Race number two, let's get ready to rumble over here with Anna Greg on the pole, the winner from race number one. Great restart of, or great start over there from Anna Greg with push from number 67 of Debbie Myers who's immediately trying to go up high by her, but that is, might not be the best choice. Also there we see Seth Cole and we see Sonny Kors who is once again up front. 66 car is there as well. Jason Sinclair as we storm into turn number two. The trouble spot for, well, I think most of the crashes have happened either at turn number two or turn number three. We haven't seen that many incidents in other parts of the racetracks. But especially that turn number two is pretty tricky. We experienced that yesterday as well in race number one. And that was a pretty close call there with the 38 car of Julia Black and the 33 of And or Audra Baranaskis. My goodness, I pronounced her name right. Thank you for, uh, to William Brock for telling me how to pronounce it. And here it goes, Sonic Course in number six, number 99 car to the lead. She will probably lead lap number one. Although we are four wide, almost four that lead. Yes, now we are four wide. Look at this. This is absolutely insane racing. We got four wide situation with Jerry Gare who had a huge crash yesterday. Also 41 car of Nicole Trenowicz was involved in that crash. And Nicole Trenowicz will take over the lead. But not for long because here comes Damien Spanner in the number 26 car down the inside. Being followed by Beth Black and the 20 car over there of uh, Ildo Sofika, of course. The Hungarian driver. And we see a uh, whole pack storming within one second. With 272 miles per hour, that is the speed of this, but these cars are going, that's absolutely incredible. 272 miles per hour. Damien Spanner takes over the lead now, but watch that 36 car come to the inside and all the way down low, it was the 31 car. But not yet for uh, Jake Ferguson. Damien Spanner coming out of turn number 2, who will lead this lap. It will be the 26 car, 
one more lap to go. And of course, we know what happened in race number one on that final lap. Are we going to see it this time? I don't know. Rege I'm not going to jinx it. So, <laughs> Bethany, no, Beth Black, the other Bla Beth, now trying to go to the lead down low. Look at that 14 car coming. Daniel Bukhard, one of the rookies, and the 19 car is there as well. Skyler Fleming into Treacherous turn number two. They make it this time. Beth Black still up front in her Pontiac, but there's a car coming to the inside and it's already on the inside. Here comes Daniel Bukhard with less than half a lap to go in race number three. Two it is, not three yet. Whoa, and there we go, crash in the back. We got a car going around in the back and we will quickly go up to the front and those drivers are in danger of falling out of the series. But that will all come later because coming out of turn number four, it is the 14 car of Daniel Bukhard who will pick up his first career win. Yes, he will. Daniel Bukhard wins race number two of the Dasker Red Bull Knockout Series, season four. And a lot of cars were involved. Well, not that many cars. It wasn't as big of an incident as we uh, had in the previous race. Race number one, of course. But we are going to take a look at the replays in just a couple of moments. And of course, the question is who is out, who is not? Five car Dom Caps is a little bit in danger. I thought I saw the 67 car of Demi Myers as well. There was a yellow car involved. I'm not sure who that was. But we are going to take a look at this. And I don't think anybody else is coming. Oh, there we see the five car. And the 60 oh, the 33 car of, of Audra Baranaskis, of course, also involved. Still have difficulty with that name, but I'll be fine. Sorry about that. But I'm afraid it might be the last time we're going to see her on the racetrack. Because here we got the official standings. So officially, Daniel Bukhard has won his first race in just a second start. So that's an impressive run by the rookie. But the question is, of course, who is out? And the answer is... The last four drivers, Danny Myers, Dom Caps. Denise Steinauer, so that's both teammates, Debbie Myers and Denise Steinauer, and Audra Baranaskis. Unfortunately, they are out of the series. We will not see them back again. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to take a look at the replay now as we got the winner over here coming on pit road, Daniel Bukhard. So, I think there actually were around six cars involved in that incident. No, seven cars involved in that incident. So this time, lucky it was Ish Taylor, um, also Brad Lewis, once again Brad Lewis I think was lucky in this one. And uh, Julia Black in the number 38 car, so yeah, big crash, well could be bigger of course, but we got a sizable incident and the four drivers were f who had most damage and who were involved most are unfortunately out of the race. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the replays, Daniel Bukhard, your winner, he'll start on pole for race number 3. And Debbie Myers, Dom Caps, Denise Steinauer, and Audra Baranoskis are out. Let's take a look at the replays. So, it was a pretty small incident for a big crazy racetrack like Zen Joltis, but of course, we are going to take a look at the replays over here. Dom Caps, I think this is where it started. He was on the outside of number 25 of Ish Taylor, and this is how Ish Taylor got involved. And they are going to get into the back of the 30. Six car is it? I don't know actually. No, the 70 cent car of Denise Steinauer and also Aaron Audrey Baron Naskis. There we see involved 97 car gets involved as well. And here we see six cars spinning around. And the 38 car of Julia Black, of course, we still there see there in the red car. That's how she got well, she got held up a little bit, but that is how uh, she lost a little bit of time, but not more than that, luckily for her. Brad Lewis saves the car. That is a great thing for him. That is how he survives. Ish Taylor, same thing. And there we see the four cars spinning, which are out. That's unfortunate. All four of them just spin around, spin around. Debbie Myers saves it. Ooh, Audra Baranaskis goes up the racetrack. There we see Denise Steinauer saves it. And Dom Caps as well. So unfortunately, well, that was the best car angle we had actually. So, unfortunately for these four drivers that were on the grass the longest, they are out. So, this is what we saw. Well, I don't think this camera angle, but there we see the four cars spinning around. Debbie Myers, Denise Steinauer, Alder Baranoskis, and the five car of Dom Caps. 
So that's a tough break for a couple of these drivers. There, the number 33 car comes up the racetrack. Still, I really like this paint scheme. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. But unfortunately, we won't see it back again. Because, of course, this is also the last season we run this Cup 2000 mod. So, better luck next time. I could have said that, but of course, we're, this race car is not coming back again. So, that's a shame. But oh well, that is what happened over here, ladies and gentlemen. Here we got our, our winner. Daniel Buchhardt, the winner of this race, he will be on pole for race number three. And out are Demi Myers, Denise Steinauer, Dom Caps, and Adler Baron Noskus. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you back for race number three over here of the Dascar Rebel Knockout Series Season 4 2016 here on Ziggo Sports.